No need to ruin it. <laughs> All right, then Mr. Pivots is going to do a little card trick. Would you like that? Sure. Great, you don't really give a shit. So that's perfect. <laughs> perfect start. So uh, do you have any playing cards? Oh, I love the playing card over there. Did you? Just one, though. Yeah, I know. There's a lot right here. Right. Can you stop talking now? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any playing cards? You could just say no. Um, no. <laughs> Etc. So... <laughs> All right, uh, you're gonna reach and you're gonna grab a card. Could be literally any one of these cards. Could be any one of these cards. Could be literally anyone. Could be literally anyone. Could be any one of these uh, cards. Excuse me. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, could be. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'll take genius. <laughs> Do you have a pen? <coughs> Do you have a pen? A pen. Yeah, a pen. <laughs> Alright, back in the game. Write your name or your phone number on the front of the playing card. Yeah, on the front, the other front. Yeah, no, that's the oh, for the love of God. Let's see if. Put your card back. Put it back. Put it back. Let's see if we can find Shara's card. <laughs> oh, it's a miracle! <laughs> How did the magic dragon do that? <laughs> it's going to be an expensive show. Take one. Okay. Please take one. Oh, now, oh that was two. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> God grant me this right to you to accept the things I can't. All right. Um, just write your name on the front of that. Yep. Guys, not during the show, please. Oh, Well, we've covered this base, so you can just write your name. Begins with C, ends in pain. Just that's it. Yeah, and you're gonna put it back anywhere in the deck. Good idea. Lovely. I'm gonna shuffle up the cards. Say stop whenever you want. No more shuffling. Get the pen back. They're quite expensive. Thank you. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give you the cards. You're going to guard these cards with your life, all right? These cards are for you. you look after these. Mr. Piffles, the world's first magic performing chihuahua, is going to attempt to find Shara's card using just his sense of smell. Now, first of all, Shara, he does need to memorize your scent, okay? Do you like small animals? Yeah, I love them. Yeah? Do you want a little cuddle? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Oh, Shara, you just can't get enough, can you? <laughs> Come on, Shara, take him. Take him, he's dead to me. There we go. <laughs> if Mr. Pibbles manages to find Shara's card, he's going to win a very special prize for a very special doggy, an entire year's supply of dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember food, Mr. Pibbles? Do you remember food? Do you remember July? <laughs> 2008. <laughs> so, Shara, I'm going to swap you the food for the doggy. You take the food. Wow, this is the last hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the doggy. Oh, goodbye, Shara. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. Now, he does need to concentrate, so we're going to surround Mr. Pills with the Shroud of Mystery. Come on, Mr. Piffles. Get into the Shroud. Go, come on. In you go. Don't make me use a taser again. Good boy. <laughs> and to hide Mr. Pebbles' sense of smell, we're going to blindfold him using a duct tape of dreams. <laughs> oh, still, Mr. Pebbles, here comes the darkness again. Oh, he loves the darkness, Shara. It reminds him of the womb. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up, Mr. Pebbles? Nothing. He's completely blindfolded. All right, Shara, we're going to place the cards with Mr. Pebbles. Mr. Pebbles is going to find Shara's card. You ready, people? Yeah. A dog is literally about to do a card trick. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, right. Playing cards here, Mr. Piffles. Mr. Piffles, whenever you're ready, take it away. So he's going to go through all of the cards. All of the cards. Music. That's perfect. That don't smell like Sherry. He's going to take. He's going to throw them out of the case. All of the cards that don't smell like permanent ink. There they go. He's going to give me a uh, Sherry's card of the 19th edition. Throwing up to me. Give me one card.
Uh, Mr. Pibbles has found Sherrod's card and he's changed it. So <laughs> <laughs> the three of hearts and he's got rid of Sherrod's name. Ta da! <laughs> I have a little word my associate. Let's just take off his blindfold. Hold still, Mr. Piffles, hold still. <laughs> take down the shroud of mystery. There we go. Come on, Mr. Piffles, what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, Sherry, he says he's very sorry. He says he's on hunger strike. Oh, does he want some toast? No. <laughs> he says no food, no card. I'm just going to teach him a little lesson. Come on, Mr. Piffles, give me your paw. Come on. Oh, <laughs> 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 Are you sorry now, Mr. Piffles? <laughs> Sherry, he says he's very sorry he doesn't know what came over him. No food, no. Sherry, you haven't gone on the food the whole time of your life, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I need to ask you a per personal question. Sure. Do you have a can opener? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, put the can in your hand, put the can in your hand, put the can in your hand, put the can in your hand. Lovely, put the can in your hand, perfect. And go all the way around the edge, release, 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 put it, that's it, release, all the way around. Get the fucking toast out of <laughs> <laughs> Release! Oh. No, no, put your hand on the bottom. Just follow, just do what I say. Just do what I say. Is this your not every, every day your recurring nightmare? He's like, oh yeah, Magic Dragon, this is what it feels like, bitch. <laughs> Alright, now, Shara, once I've done this, you're gonna peel off the lid, drop just a lid on top. Let go! You're going to drop just a lid onto the floor, you shouldn't cut yourself that much. Okay, so go for it, just a lid. Yep, that's pushing down. That's not, that's too, you're still pushing down on the lid, that's not how you... I know, that's because it's a lid, and you're pushing down on the lid. And that's not how lids work. Oh, wow, science! <laughs> Back away from me, Sharon. Sharon, I love... Just put it on the floor. Yeah. Trash. <laughs> Sharon, a loud voice that everyone goes to hear. Tell everyone, what's inside the can? Inside the the can? card? Whoa, you guys have got the bar set far too high. <laughs> it's not David Copperfield, it's a chihuahua and a dragon outfit. <laughs> Sharon, tell them, what is it? It looks like dog food. Well, it looks like dog food and it is in fact dog food. Oh. Don't go near him. <laughs> Don't move, Sharon. Inside the food. Turn this way so everyone can see. That's it, perfect. Inside the food. Your card, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That one? Yes. Yeah. We're just going to give you a card, a little clean sharer. There we go. <laughs> and so now, hi nice and hygienically clean for you. You're welcome. There we go. There we go. You're welcome. And um, Sharon, just before you. <laughs> Where's my newspaper gone? Yeah, yeah. Just. Oh yeah, thanks for just pointing out and then walking away from it. That's, that's the most helpful thing you've done on night. Perfect, great, that's lovely. And now Sharon, just for you, I thought it would be nice to make you a little present. Would you like that? Yeah? There we go, because I'm actually a world champion blue modeler, so I thought I'd finish with a little blue animal for Shara. So Shara, any animal in the world, what would you like? Any animal, it could be literally any animal. Any, a what? A dog. A dog. <laughs> Mr. Piffles. I thought you were going to say a snake. Good at the old snakes, but alright. <laughs> it's gonna be a baby Mr. Piffles, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A little baby Mr. Piffles for uh, Sharon. We'll just do his little Piffles nose, yeah? And then we do his Piffle ears. Here we go. Like that. Oh, it's very difficult to tell them apart right now. And then we do the rest of the 
the Mr. Piffles. So, any reason you went for Mr. Piffles? Is he your favourite? Yeah, he's your favourite. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> it's a hemorrhoid. <laughs> but Mr. Pibbles gets a lot of hemorrhoids, so it's an abstract. It's an abstract, Mr. Pibbles. There we go, that's for you. And we got one last little present for Shara. One last little present that Jay is bringing in. Oh, look what you get, Shara. Your very own Piff the Magic Dragon t shirt. Oh! Whoa! Sarah, this is for you. There we go. Wow, you couldn't put price and quality like that, could you? <laughs> Unless it was $25. <laughs> Look at the jealousy rippling through the audience. They're going, if only we could get one of our own Piff t-shirts. What's that, Mr. There's Piffles? Some, some After the show, you'll be outside through that door selling t-shirts and posters for very reasonable prices and posing for photographs. You are all about m commercialism. <laughs> And that's what we'll be, so anyway. Uh, this is for you, Sarah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And maybe we'll just get the oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Claus. Princess Sarah, it's your turn. Thank you, Thank you.